Hey everyone, Cody here, and this video is actually a re-upload of an old video. I just kind of re reworked it to include kind of the steps that I used to make this painting. You'll notice that there was some paint on the painting already, and that is because um, I'd started recording. I record on my phone, and someone called me, so <laughs> it cut it off. I had to start over. So anyway, let's talk about the type of painting that we're doing today. Obviously, you can kind of see it. It's scraped. Um, I'm using a rubber squeegee. You can get them at the dollar store, Home Depot, whatever. Um, and basically, I'm just kind of pulling, I'm putting the paint on there and then kind of scraping it into these weird, I don't know, crisscross shapes or, I don't know, they look kind of like floating islands to me, I guess. I don't know. Uh, the paint is, you know, it's all Dun Edwards uh, gloss enamel. You can get gloss enamel from uh, quite a few paint stores or even department stores. I mean, even Ace Hardware has a line that has high gloss paint. Um, someone else does. I think, oh, uh, I believe it's at Home Depot or something. There's a high gloss. I think it's either like PPG or Bear or something like that, but it's limited on the colors. So, you know, just as a heads up. Anyway, uh, the colors that I use today, I don't remember the names of all of them, uh, but essentially there was three colors that I used total, or four, sorry. There's like a, you can, the first color that you saw was like a, a grayish blue. The next one was like a medium blue, or I guess more light than medium. And then the last one will be like a, a dark blue and then yellow. The yellow is actually kind of like a golden rod. So, um, I thought, what else? Okay. So, I mean, that's pretty much it for the techniques. I'm going to be honest. Like I, I thought I was going to like this painting more than I actually did. Um, and I, I think it comes down to the color combination with the shapes, period. So, like, I've done this style before on another painting called Fire and Ice. I did a video about it, um, kind of a while back. So if you just look it up or go on my feed or maybe I'll link to it below. But, um, I did a painting called Fire and Ice and it was just red and blue, um, gloss enamel. And ironically enough, the red and blue that I used weren't Den Edwards. They were some other... They were Clark and Kensington. Um, but coming back to it, I, I did the same thing. I just kept applying the paint and kind of scraping it into these weird crisscross designs. Um, and I just did that over and over. And the Fire and Ice painting I really, really do like, like a lot. It was one of my, I don't know, it's still kind of one of my favorites. And all of, this is all I did was scrape it with the, you know, the squeegee and... I made that painting and it turned out awesome. But this one, not so much. And I don't know if it's the shapes that, that bother me. I think the shapes are okay. Um, I think it really came down to the colors. Like, I don't think that these colors really went together. Like this, this yellow that I used. I don't think that I should have either used this yellow or yellow period. Um, I think, honestly, kind of looking back at this painting, I, again, I don't hate it, but I think if I had used no uh, yellow at all, I think if I had just kind of gone the three shades of blue, this painting actually would have been pretty cool. Um, and I think I would have liked it a lot more. So that's kind of on me for just kind of assuming that it was going to look good. It's because the, the goldenrod and the dark blue look kind of good together because um, I've used them together. So I thought that Maybe it would look good with these other blues. Wasn't the case. Um, so that's that's a big thing when it comes to like painting. You know, abstract is is the color combination. You kind of have to know what it, what it's going to look like, and it's not enough to just kind of see samples together to think that it's going to look good. Like because it, it'll look totally different once you actually paint it. But anyway, I mean that's really it for this, guys. You can you can see you know the painting and. Again, I didn't hate it. I do like this technique of creating that design. What's nice about the squeegee is it does a couple of things. One, you can control the consistency of it, but two, you can make it into like these weird alien shapes or even squares. So I don't know. It's pretty good. Um, I did have fun with it, and uh, you know, I hope you liked it. But anyway, I guess I'll, uh, I'll catch you guys in another video, and you guys have a good rest of your day.